watching Fox 47 News at 10. Your Storm Shield forecast, only on Fox 47 News. All right, Caleb, are we going to see your happy dance one more time in this happy show? Dance. I'm pumped up. <laughs> Are you happy because it's a little cooler than normal? Yeah. We're out of the 90s. What's it exactly. for? Exactly. We're out of the 90s. It's still warm today, but we got to what well, was 86 for a high in Lansing. So, hey, I'll take anything I can get. It was 90s last week. That was too hot. But yeah, right now we're falling off temperature wise pretty quickly here in uh, downtown Lansing, Interstate 496 outside the studio. You can see we're not, not really anything going on for as far as clouds are concerned. We are at 74 degrees outside, so pretty comfortable out there. That's why I was doing that happy dance. High temperatures today, they were warm, but we had less humidity, so it didn't feel so bad. 86 degrees was the official high in Lansing, 78 in Charlotte, and then uh, low to mid 80s in our southern zones down in the 83 and 84. Uh, so elsewhere right now, our temperatures are falling off fairly quickly. We're at 68 in Elma, 74 in Lansing, 70 in Ionia and Marshall, and then 69 degrees down there in Coldwater. Our dew points right now, last time, last night at this time, we were in the upper 60s, around 70 degrees. So uh, that was fairly uncomfortable, but we have fallen off into the uh, upper 50s and low 60s. That's how it was today. Again, that's why I was a little more comfortable out there. Uh, in addition to that, we had a breezy wind out of the west northwest today, helping to make it feel a little bit more comfortable since earlier on in the day. We have seen those winds slacking off a little bit, and I think that's going to continue to be the case tonight. We will see those winds become totally calm eventually. Here's a satellite and the radar satellite not picking up on any clouds because there's not any really to be found outside right now. We're totally dry on the radar. As I zoom out, you can see a few different features I'll point out. One being the stalled frontal boundary to north. It's actually going to slowly start to drop south. We also have an upper level trough south of our region. You can see some storms sparking off along that uh, the bottom of that trough going from Chicago down towards Cincinnati. Um, we could see that touch off a couple showers for us, but for the most part, I think we'll stay dry tonight and tomorrow. And then off to the east, you have the remnants of Tropical Storm Fay lifting north and east away from our region. Luckily, no impact for us. Let's go ahead and time out the forecast for you overnight. We'll see uh, mostly clear skies starting off the, the overnight hours. By the morning, that, that weak disturbance passes to the south. It will touch off some overhead clouds, maybe a shower in our southern zones, but I think most of us will stay dry. Tomorrow looks like a nice day, a mix of sun and clouds. You can see these pop up gr green circles, these little bl blips thrown up on the uh, future track there. We could see a pop up shower. Again, most of us stay dry tomorrow. This system, this weak disturbance, really doesn't have a lot of moisture to work with. Uh, then heading into Sunday night, We'll be partly cloudy for most of the night heading into Monday morning. Monday looks like a pretty nice day. Again, a mix of sun and clouds. I think more in the way of sun though for us on Monday. Here's a temperature trend against seasonably cool tomorrow. Monday we start to warm up Tuesday. We get to 85, so we should be around 83 for this time of the year. We continue to climb by Thursday 88. And then heading into the next, the end of the work weekend next weekend, we'll see uh, temperatures climb back to that 90 degree mark Friday and Saturday. Well, we'll also see humidity build uh, from Wednesday on, so it's going to start to feel uncomfortable again. Beyond the next seven days, the next, the, uh, the outlook for us is unfortunately above average temperatures uh, once again. I guess that's unfortunate for me because again, I'm not the biggest fan of the hot weather. Forecast for tonight, we'll see temps drop down to around 60 degrees, partly cloudy. Can't roll out that shower in our southern zones. Wind starting off west northwest, becoming calm. For tomorrow, we'll see our temps climb to around 81 degrees, partly sunny and pleasant. We'll see, again, those lower dew points, the lower humidity levels, and it's going to feel not too bad outside. And we'll see a north-northwest wind at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Now here's the seven day forecast. So Monday looks like a nice day again, mostly sunny skies, temperature of 80 degrees. We will see clouds start to increase on Tuesday. Our next cold front approaches from the west. Now that will ultimately pass through very slowly Wednesday uh, during the day on Wednesday, sparking off some showers and thunderstorms, and then that kind of stalls out over us. We see another chance for th uh, showers and thunderstorms on Thursday. Showers linger Friday morning before that system finally departs, and our temperature is getting up to 90 degrees by next weekend. All right.